All right, so the Fender Player Plus Jazz Bass. I've been asked by several people to check out this bass, so let's talk about it. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Jermaine Morgan TV. Today's video is sponsored by none other than the good folks over at Sweetwater. So as I mentioned in the intro of this video, I've gotten several requests to do a review on this particular bass guitar, and Sweetwater was kind enough to send this bass over to me as you see me here unboxing the bass. It was very well protected. I was a little worried about uh, the bass when I first received it because I saw the box even though it said fragile on the box the outer box had a little dent in the box so I was kind of low-key worried about the uh, base and how if it you know if it was damaged in the the shipping to my house but as I saw as I pulled the base out it was double box there was another box that the base was in as you can see here and when I pulled the base out it was perfectly fine I did wait the 24 hours as it suggested for weather and all that kind of stuff but again uh, I'm super glad that Sweetwater thought enough to hey, go ahead and double box this thing and as I said many times before when I've reviewed other Sweetwater products the customer service at Sweetwater is second to none and this is not me just blowing smoke here I recently had had to contact Sweetwater about a product that I had that was malfunctioning and had some problems going on with it and they were very very uh, quick in responding to me taking care of the problem as a matter of fact went ahead and replaced the product that I had because of the issue that was going on it was something that needed to be sent in so they made sure that they gave me something to make sure that I didn't have any lapse in my being able to produce music and to do what I do. So shout out to the folks over at Sweetwater and thank you for sending me this bass to check out and allowing my viewers to hear my perspective on this Fender Jazz Player uh, Plus. All right, so first things first, jumping into the specs of this bass. This bass is pretty lightweight for the most part. I'll go ahead and say that right off bat. This bass is pretty lightweight. Uh, this bass is made in Mexico. To me, it's a lot like the uh, the Surf Pearl Deluxe that I've been playing, the five string that I, I've been playing. It's very, very similar as far as the makeup, you know, as the, the standard Fender setup. Obviously, there are some noticeable differences in the bass, number one being the color. This is more of a, a three color sunburst here uh, with the uh, white, off-white pick guard with it. And you can notice that the headstock is definitely different on this bass. You have a more of a traditional looking headstock with this particular one, whereas the other one looks like it has more of a modern uh, finish. You have the leaf tuners and you have that one G string that's on the bottom of the headstock as opposed to being up here on the top of the headstock like the other base. So this one also has the power ferrule uh, fretboard as well as the um, pearl dot inlays with this particular base. It has the noiseless pickups in it and the preamp seems to be either the same or very similar to the one that's on the Fender Deluxe that I have and it's both active and passive. Now the body wood is an alder body wood and the neck is a maple neck, right? So I mean, obviously with those woods, you know, you're gonna be getting some good tones out of it. So, all right, so just checking out the tones of this bass, uh, this is with everything pretty much set flat. <laughs> You got that low B string there. Right? So this is literally right out of the box. I haven't did any setup, any adjustment or anything on it. All I did was tune the strings, plugged in and played. And if you guys are wondering what I'm playing through, because what I get asked about a lot is, okay, how are you running in uh, to get the sound that you're getting? I'm literally running right into my Studio Live AR16C. You can see in the description about that particular board that I use, but I'm running directly into the board, no plugins, no fancy stuff or anything like that. And I forgot to mention that this uh, bass is 18 volt as well. Pretty easy access panels for you to change the batteries in the back. A lot like the deluxe that I was playing as well. So I know with some of my other bases, there's kind of a struggle to change the batteries quickly because the access panel isn't as easy to get into. So this is a cool feature to have that uh, easy access panel. Let's again, go through some more of the tones of this bass. So obviously Fender is known for that thump tone. <laughs> Uh, 
again, I was set flat earlier. I'll roll up to some of these highs so you can see. You can see the contrast. This is with the highs boosted, right? And boosting the mids. You can hear a lot more of that warmth and that body come out of the bass when you. Pull back on the highs. More so in context. And that B string has a lot of body and a lot of bite to it. Very clear. Right? So from my little playing around with it in the settings that I got, the finger tone sounds great as well. Boost the highs a little bit in there. Obviously, it has a, a lot of body to it. So, let's play a couple of things to hear it in context. I'm going to play this real soulful feeling track to just so you can hear. Uh, the mellowness, how the uh, tone of the bass sits in the mix with everything else. So I'm going to play this track really quick. It just sits right in the mix, real meaty. Still clear. So as you can hear, it's real beefy in the mix, but it's still clear where you can hear everything uh, clearly what I'm playing. And I'll play this other track really quick so you can hear what it sounds like uh, on the thump side of things uh, when you're trying to cut through the mix. If any of you guys know me, you know I don't necessarily profess to be the Fender guy, but uh, in my older years, in my more mature years of playing, I've grown to start liking the sound of certain Fender basses. Not all of them, but certain Fender basses, and this is definitely one that I'm enjoying the sound of. I'm going to enjoy exploring this bass a little bit more. So if you're asking me for my personal opinion about the Fender Player Plus Jazz Bass, Based on this one that I've played, I say it's a thumbs up. If you've been thinking about getting one, definitely go ahead. And in the video description, I have put a link where you can go straight to Sweetwater and check out more of the specs of this particular bass. If you're interested in learning more about this specific bass or bases like it, you can go right over to Sweetwater 
and check out this bass and also if you're interested in the backing tracks that i was playing to these are original tracks created by myself uh, and they're available on JermaineMorgan.net. This is part of the All Soul Bass Jam. And if you want to know more about these jam tracks, I'll put that link below where you can check that out as well. Listen, guys, I appreciate you as usual for being here, for checking out this review on this bass. If there are some other basses or some other instruments, you know, I play more than just bass, but if there are some other instruments that you want me to kind of check out, put my ears on, drop them in the comments. I'll be interested to hear what you guys are interested in. Because again, this wasn't even on my radar, but because of the comments that I kept receiving about the bass I dug into it I uh, checked it out for myself and so I'd be happy to check out maybe some of you guys' recommendations if it's something that I'm willing to play but be sure to drop it in the comments you never know I might have the bass that you name next for a review to give you my opinion of what I think about the bass uh, overall again this bass feels great it plays great and I think it'll work great for any situation whether you're doing church uh, R&B gig, whatever it is you're doing, I think this uh, bass will work great for any situation. So those are my thoughts on the bass. Listen, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on my bell notifications so you'll know when I post a video or when I'm going live. Other than that, guys, that's it. I can't drag this out any longer. Uh, I will see you on the next video. Much love to you guys. I'm out. Peace. God bless.